OK, so I picked uh, simplifying the square root of negative 72 because this one offers a very uh, <coughs> important uh, message for us to go and take a look at as far as determining how we're going to simplify this. So the first thing we're going to do is, again, we want to break this up into a product with negative 1 because we know that represents i. So therefore, I can have the square root of 72 times the square root of negative 1. All right, now we need to break up the square root of 72. And I'm going to do this two different ways, because a lot of students, when they get to this point, they just want to look at, you know, well, what are the most obvious numbers that we know divide into 72, right? And they might say, oh, well, actually, I'll even look at this another way. Square root of 72. Um, 72, so you could say. Uh, 3, 20, 24. Actually, that would still even work in that. Not even going to go through that. All right. Um, so a lot of times they might say, oh, well, that's very obvious. That can be broken down into the square root of 8 times the square root of 9. But then we want to say, well, can we continue to simplify this? We can simplify the square root of 9 into 3, right? Because we know we had to make sure we broke it down into a square number. But then the square root of 8, we can also break that down even further to the square root of 4 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 3. I'm sorry, not the square root of 3, times 3. Then we know that this is going to be 2 times square root of 2 times 3. And this equals 6 times the square root of 2. So you have to keep on breaking this, break, breaking it down, breaking it down. So the hint that I want to give you is when you're determining out of your square numbers um, <clears throat> what is going to divide into 72, you know, how to break it up, the best advice that I can give you is choose the largest number that is going to divide evenly into your number. All right? And it has to be, when we're talking about largest number, I'm talking about square numbers. So we know that 9 divides into 72, but 9 is not the only number, square number, that we have that evenly divides into 72. Our actual largest is going to be 36. And 36 divides into 72 two times. And then I can easily take the square root of 36, which is going to give me 6, times 2. So it's very important that, one, we have to pick our square numbers, but then also we want to pick the largest square number to divide into our term, so therefore we can simplify it. There you go. Thanks.